In this video, we're going to use calculus to come up with the formula for the volume of this uh, equilateral triangular base py uh, pyramid. So, so this is of length A, 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 and the vertical height is, uh, is B. So we know from high school it's going to be the, the area of the base times the, uh, times the vertical height and then divided by 3. We know that's a formula from high school, but now we're going to use calculus to come up with that formula. So let's let's rotate this solid here. Let's rotate this solid so it now looks like it, it now looks like this. So the idea here is that we we are going to use calculus. So 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 we're going to draw the so so looking at this triangle here, the center is right here. So let's so your x-axis will go through the center here. It will go through the center here. This is going to be your y-axis. So uh, so the idea here is uh, is that we're going to Move, we're going to sum up everything. We're going to sum up everything, uh, and we're moving in the x direction. So it's going to be dx. So as we're moving along here, uh, this height here, this height here is uh, is this height here, which is so the center is here, which is this height here. So uh, so I hope you can follow that. Maybe you might have to press pause and, and think about it. So the center the center is here. So that's the center here. We're going to draw our x-axis right through here, and this is going to be our y-axis. So, um, so we 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 need to come up with a formula for this straight line here. This straight line here is well, we're going to move along here like this. So this this height here, this height here is really this height here, which is really this height here. Um, so so we're going to move along here, and we're going to sum up everything. Uh, but but before we can do that, um, you you have to be able to. If I give you this height here, let's say if I give you let, let's say this length here is h. Yeah, uh, if I give you h, then then you have to be able to come up with a way of giving me the area of this uh, triangle when when given h. So so um, so if if I give you a, you you can use Pythagoras to work out to work out this length here because it would be a squared equals let, let's just call this I don't know uh, w here w squared uh, plus this length here which is a over 2 squared and then re you, 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 you can work out w and then once you've got w you can you can then divide it by you can then divide it by 2 that would that would then give you h but now I want you to be able to come up with a formula when when I give you h you have to be able to give me the area of this equilateral triangle so, so before before you before we can come up before we can use calculus to come up with a formula for for this solid, you have to be able to give me when I give you an h, you have to be able to give me an area. Um, yes, you could use trigonometry. Uh, you could use trigonometry where this is three sixty. You divide it by three, or you can work out this angle. You could use trigonometry, but but avoid avoid trigonometry for the time being. Um, you, you, you can develop your own method once once you understand this. When I did it, I did it without. Uh, I, I try to avoid uh, trigonometry. So uh, so use Pythagoras to so to to come up with the area of this triangle. So if I give you an h, you have to be some you have to be able to somehow come up with a formula for the area. So press pause and and, and come up um, and um, and come up with a way of working out the area of this triangle here when given an, when given h. Okay, so so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, to do this, so when given an h, uh, we we can use Pythagoras. So so uh, so it's going to be a squared equals this length here will be two h squared, and then this length here will be a over two squared. So so uh, but at the moment we are just trying to work out why when given h you can work out the area of this triangle. So uh, so tidy this up. That will then give you this, and then uh, uh, and then and then blah blah blah. When the blah blah blah, blah the the point is that when 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 given an h, you can work out a. So so when when given an h, we can work out a. Once we once we know a, then we can work out the area. So once given an h, we can work out a. Once given once given an an h. We can work out we can work out a. So when 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 given an h, we can work out a. So when we know h, 
and we know we can work out a we can work out the area so when uh, so when given h you times you times it by 2 that will then give you this whole length here and then you 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 times by half of a or a here is this so you divide it by 2 it gets multiplied to the bottom so this becomes this 4 here becomes 2 and then well uh, a over 2 will be this and then uh, and then this whole length here will be 2h so the area will be this times this so um, so so now now we well, now we know that when given an, a, an h we can work out the area because when given an h we can work out the area so going back to here going back to here hang on so going back to here the idea is that this is going to be our x axis going through the center so uh, so so this so 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 we are moving along we're going to sum up everything we're moving along in the x direction so when when given an h when given the the height of this thing here when given the height we now have a way of working out the area of this of this whole triangle so the the idea is to sum up all the areas um for for given height so our height is moving along each step of the way so our next step is to come up with the equation of this straight line so it's going to be of the form y equals m x plus c um i'll continue in the next video but but the idea is that uh the idea is that we're we're moving along this line here and for any given h for any given height we we have the we we, we have a machine where where if you give me h we can we can work out the area so we can when given h we can work out the area, so we're going to sum up all the areas. But but our next step is to come up with the equation of this straight line, and then and then apply calculus to come up with the formula for this solid, which I will do in the next video.